Um, but yeah, so always been playful and I just never, I don't know. I was, look, I still say it on accident. Sometimes I wasn't in a creative field. I just never considered myself creative. And, uh, now that I started to really study it on a, on a bigger level, I realized I am quite actually creative. So, uh, yeah, I think that's where the define what creative is because for me, I always kind of had a logical mind. I was, uh, I picked up yeah. computers really fast, was good in math and science and, I didn't feel like I was great at writing because I was dyslexic and I didn't feel like particularly drawn to the arts or coloring inside the lines. It wasn't something Same. that came naturally to me. So I thought I wasn't creative because I couldn't take a blank sheet of paper and turn it into something. Same. Same. But it turns out that like creative problem solving is very creative, you know, thinking uniquely about ways to do things. And I think sports helps me a lot with creativity, oh. which might sound odd to people, but you're basically in, you know, basketball or soccer, a sport that's going nonstop. You're having a creative problem solve the whole time. Yeah. You're yeah. looking for unique ways around things and trying to to solve the problem and accomplish the goal. And I think that it's very that iterative. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, so I love that because I think a lot of people are the the same way. We fall into the trap of the culture says you have to hustle, work hard, or be serious to get ahead. And then we find that like that might work for a little while, but it doesn't necessarily make you happy. And yeah. it doesn't give you like all-star status success because right. um, you only get so much you're, or, or so far with that. And then your value is limited because you're like everybody else. If you want to go skyrocket your success, you got to really be unique in, in that. Yeah. Don't wait for tomorrow. Yeah.